Harley Quinn jokes his girlfriend and even partner of with the Joker for a long time, but he always mistreated her one day, so she broke up with him and went her own way. With the help of Poison Ivy, she got herself in a gang form of Clayface King, Hang Shark by Boardman and Dr. Psycho that they can use to multiply mayhem. Soon the gang split up and did their own thing suspiciously, especially after Cy Borgman's death and Dr. Psycho's betrayal, and along the way, Harley and Ivy fell in love. After what happened, then Kite Man and Ivy's wedding, named Harley and Ivy got together and became girlfriends. Two years after since they they we see Harley and Ivy in their lair, and Ivy was treating some plants, and even Harley was looking over for the Gotham Ivy sees this and went up to her. Hey hearts, are you okay? Ivy asked. Harley laughed as that her nickname Ivy was called to her. I'm good, Ives. Is there something there's nothing to worry about? Harley lied. Ivy could tell that she was lying. Harley, we've been dating for two years years now, and I know better than Joker, so I know when something's wrong, so just please tell me what's wrong. Harley looked at Ivy. You really want to know? Harley then asked as she nodded her head and Harley sighed. To tell you the truth is, I've been thinking. About what? Ivy asked. Harley then looked over at Ivy. I want to stop being a villain, Harley said. Ivy looked at Harley in shock and started laughing. Oh, that's a good one, hearts. Ivy then started stopped laughing and looked at seriousness in Harley's eyes and realized, Wait, you're serious? Yes, I'm serious, Harley yelled, then calmed down. I've been thinking about this for months now, and now that our gang is doing their own things, I want to live a normal life with no trouble, no cops coming after us, and no bats meddling in our effing business, Harley explained. Ivy then looked over at Harley, and then shocked because she'd never seen this from Harley before. So what do you plan to do, Hearts? Ivy asked. I've been looking around to see if I where I can start my life all over again, away from Gotham. Harley then grabbed a brochure. It has a small town in Michigan called Royal Woods. I think it's a great place to start over, Harley answers. Ivy looked over the brochure, impressed by the things, where then was shocked and looked at Harley. Well, if you think you're doing this without me, then you got another thing coming, hearts, Ivy said. Harley looked over at Ivy in shock. No, wait, you're coming with me, Harley asked. Asked. Well, Ivy hugged Harley. Hearts, I've told you that I want to be there for you, but I think it's time to find a new purpose, too. Harley squealed and kissed Ivy on lips. Oh, thank you, Ives. You're going to have a new life, Harley exclaimed excitedly. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's pack up before Gordon finds out we're, we're, what we're doing, Ivy said. Harley and Ivy started packing their things to go to Royal Woods, but what they did not know is they're about to stumble into a very big problem. At the Royal Woods, we see a house to see a teenager with a pixie cut and paper clip earrings and wearing a purple shirt with a skull on it and a shirt with boots and holding a baby bag and with a kid with a white hair clip and a tooth that with an orange poil shirt and blue jeans and beaten up squirrel mascot suit and running away from their house. Then the kid threw the mascot suit in the trash can. A good riddance to that thing that what will it do when they find us, Luna? The kid asked. Luna then stumbled, rumbled, rubbed the kid's hair. Don't worry, Lincoln. They will not get you or Lily, and I will do anything to keep you keep you safe, Guardian's honor, Luna said. Lincoln then hugged Luna, and then far away from the house, they were ready for what's going to happen next. At the Royal Woods at the hotel, we see Harley Quinn, former villain of Gotham City, asleep as she stirred in her sleep. Then woke up to ready to see the new life when she sees her girlfriend, Poison Ivy, coming out of the bathroom in the towel. Morning, hearts. The bathroom's all yours, Ivy said. Harley smiled. Thanks, Ives. Harley then took a shower, and then while she was taking a shower, she had been thinking about her and Ivy's life would be something she's been dreaming about for years, having kids. After Harley was done with her shower, she got out her outfit, and which was red with black striped shirt, and blue shorts and tied her hair in pigtails and then she could see how Ivy dressed in a green tank top with the black leather jacket, light brown pants, looking at the job applications. 
Ivy sees her girlfriend and smiled. Hey, Arts, I was just thinking and looking at some jobs that could be available. I think I can get a job as a gardener. Harley laughed. Well, you're good with the plants, so I think if I'm lucky, I could be a doctor again. Harley then looked at the Ivy. Hey, Ivy, I've been thinking. Ivy looked at Harley. About what? Harley then looked nervous. Ivy, have you ever thought about adopting a kid? Ivy looked at Harley with a raised eyebrow and thought of it as well. Well, I have thought about it, but raising a kid is a big responsibility, and this hotel room is not big enough for a third person, Ivy explained. Harley then looked disappointed. Yeah, I know, it's just, I've been wanting to have kids when I was with him, Harley said. Ivy put her arms around Harley. Hey, don't be upset. When we move into our new home, then we can adopt a kid. That made Harley smile, and then she and Ivy hugged. Now come on now, it's time to meet with the real in-state. She then said, she'll meet us in an hour. Harley and Ivy then left the hotel and waited for the real estate lady. This chapter is not like the other ones, but of course it's a pretty good one. Elsewhere, Harley and Ivy were, were in the real estate, lady to come over, and Harley was just getting impatient. Ugh, what's taking so long? Ivy hold Harley's hand to calm down. Calm down, Harley. We'll be... She'll be here. Just give her some time. I'm... Harley then smiled and then she heard something. Hey, Ives, do you hear that? They both then looked at each other and saw a woman with, with brown hair tied to a bun, wearing a red shirt and with a black suit and a skirt with a white finger nails and even she was yelling at some African-American kid with the glasses and his, and his dad's. Kids shouldn't be at a school during the summer, so I demanded that this would be sent to a school immediately, the lady said. The parents are impressed. Okay, lady, leave me and my husband and child alone, and stop acting such a Karen, said a shot black man with a blue v sweater vest. This angers the woman. My name's not Karen. My name is Selena Williams, and this kid should not only be sent to school, but she be removed from custody from the both of you. That shocks the families. What are you talking about, lady? Said a white, said a talk white man with red hair and a button-up shirt. What I am talking about is you two are gay people, and people who date the same gender are on here are disgraced and wrong and should be illegal. Selena said in a Karen-like way. Harley and Ivy were listening to this, and they were not happy with this lady. Harley was about to go up and beat the lady. Oh, why I oughta? Ivy stopped Harley before she could do anything. Calm down, Harles. I want to beat her up as much as you do, but she'll fall into our own trouble, so just ignore her. Harley then just calmed down. You're right. She's not worth it. Harley and Ivy continued to wait for the real estate, but Harley just listened to the lady. How we Clyde? Let's just go, the black man said as the free walked away. The anger Selena Williams. This town's corrupted by good name and with the president, and I will put this town down back the way it should be. When Harley and Don heard, heard the president's name, she lost and grabbed the soda can and just shook it as Ivy saw it confused. What are you doing, Harles? Harley just woke up, walked up to Selena Williams. Excuse me. Selena looked at her. You look like you've been working hard. Care for a drink? Harley then hands her a drink. Selena took the drink. Why, thank you, someone who knows what they're doing. Harley then walks away and then went back to Ivy, who looks at her. Harles, what did you do? Harley smirks. In free... Two, one. She then hears screams, and they look to see Selena, who was soaked, and Ivy and Harley laughed. Selena seizes and is not happy. You have no idea what you've just done. I rule this town, and you will regret this. I swear, Selena said, then walks away. Harley and Ivy stop laughing. At least you didn't beat her up. Nice go go going, Harles. Harley smiled. Well, thanks, Ives. And Harley and Ivy shared a kiss. When someone walks up to them, Sorry I'm late. I had to walk the dog. You two must be the woman with a yellow sweater and vest and with short sleeve shirt with brown hair. Ivy and Harley looked at the woman. We are. I'm guessing you're the real estate agent we've been waiting for. Oh, yes, I am. She then holds out her hand. I'm Jesse Rosetto. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Ivy and Harley then shook Jesse's hand. My name is Ivy, and this is my girl Harley. We just moved here from Gotham City. Jesse looked and shocked. Wow, that's pretty far. Welcome to Royal Woods. Jesse then looks at the f their skins. Uh, not being rude, but why are your skins like that? 
Harley and Ivy then looked at their skins. Well, I was born with green skin. It's a rare condition, Ivy said. And my ex pushed me in a pool of chemicals, Harley said, in an awkward silence for a bit. All right, then let's see what you two really look like. Jessie then lead them away from Har with Harley and Ivy following her. Harley and Ivy have been looking around at a lot of houses, and none of them seem to fit the bell, but they have one more stop to do that. At Franklin Avenue, not far from the Louds. All right, this is the last house. Jessie then stopped in front of the two-storied house with a yellow chimney and a garage. This house is clean and not fested with rodents or bugs. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms in it. Harley and Ivy walked in the house and looked around. They were impressed and they looked at Jessie and said an illusion. We'll take it. Ivy smiled. Great, you could just move in right away. The trucks will drop us uh, our st your stuff off. Ivy v v then shook Jessie's hand. Thank you so much for finding a place to stay. My pleasure now. If you excuse me, I have more clients to help. Welcome to Royal Woods, you two. Jessie then walks away. Harley and Ivy then looked at their new home and smiled. Hey Ives, how about we head to the park while we wait for the moving truck? I think that's a good idea, Harles. Ivy and Harley then, then walked around the park, and they saw a bunch of kids playing. Oh, look at this, Harles. Peace and quiet, no frets, no nothing. Everything's going to change well for us. Yeah, Harley said, but deep down she wasn't sure if the Joker would force her to be his girlfriend again. Then Harley spots something. Hey, Ives, look. Ivy looked over to see Lincoln crying and Luna comforting him and Lily crying for milk. Why is that kid crying? What just happened and where are the parents? I don't know, Ivy, but I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, let's find out. Harley and Ivy walked up to the kids. Excuse me, kid. Sorry for intruding, but why are you crying? Lincoln and Luna looked up to shock to see a woman, completely white skin with another one with green skin. But Lily just laughed at them, which Harley finds it cute. Then Lincoln spoke, we ran away from home. Har of course, Harley and Ivy were shocked by that. Why would you kids run away from your family? Then Lincoln started to cry again when she mentioned his family, and Ivy sees this and feels bad. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. Luna then confront comforts her brother, then looked at the two women. It's not your fault. It's kind of complicated. She then took a notice of seeing them before. You must be new to town, huh? Harley smiled. Yeah, my name is Harley, and this is my girlfriend, Ivy. Well, welcome to Royal Woods. My name is Luna, and these two are my siblings, Lincoln and Little Lily. Lily then waved at them, smiling. Luna then continues to comfort Lincoln. Shh, it's okay, Lincoln. Your big sister is here. Ivy and Harley were heartbroken to see Lincoln break down. Will you kids excuse us for a moment? I need to talk with my girlfriend. Harley then leads Ivy away from the kids for a little bit. What the hell just happened and made them run away from their family? I don't know, Harles, but it must be something really bad. Ivy then sees Harley and then has no idea. What are you thinking, Harley? I'm thinking about letting them stay with us for a while. They look like they need help. Harley then looked at the crying kid. Ivy looked at Harley with shock. I don't know, Harley. I'm not sure. Harley then looked at her girlfriend. Ivy, look at them. There's something bad have happened to them and they need help. Ivy looked at the kids and see Lincoln crying and Luna trying her best to comfort her, which broke her heart since she saw and looks at Harley. You're right, Harley. They need our help. Harley smiled and walked towards them. Hey, kids, how about you three of us, us pack up and, and be back at our place? Then you could tell us what happened. We want to help. Luna then looked at the woman. She wasn't sure, but she wants her to help her brother and sister. Okay, thank you. Harley then smiled and then walked back to Harley and Ivy's home. But on the former villains' minds, it was the same thing of what happened to you kids.